I, today we're talking about the hypothetical of possibly adding Sabotage as the third game mode for the MW3 CDL season. You know, a lot of talks have been happening where you're seeing people don't really like control anymore. Uh, they're ready to start with something fresh. And what better way than to bring it back with something that was played all the way back in COD 4 in the MLG days with Sabo. So for those of you not familiar with the game mode, I'm going to be completely breaking it down for you. So let's get right into it. So Sabotage feels like one of the more forgotten game modes in Call of Duty. And it really really is a shame you know it was actually one of my favorite game modes back all the way in mw2 when i was just playing it casually i remember just running the dlc maps on sabo uh trying to get wins in that and and actually grinding for some you know calling cards but it actually was a pretty fun game mode and in terms of competitiveness it actually is a really good competitive game mode when you look at the core gameplay of it so what sabotage is is a neutral bomb respawn game type so that means is a neutral bomb spawns in the middle of the map and anyone can grab it on both teams and what the objective is is, is to try and get that bomb to the opponent's base, plant it at their bomb site, and then let the bomb go explode off and you win the round. Now, if you plant the bomb and the other team defuses it, it continues on with the round and the first team to actually plant the bomb and explode it wins that specific round. So this game type really rewards map control, you know, needing to get multiple waves, not only to pick up the bomb from the neutral beginning site, but also to keep pushing forward into the enemy's base and then eventually end up even planning it and not even just planning it you know actually letting it go off so that it explodes rather than the other team you know coming out getting some kills and diffusing it on you so it actually requires you to keep maintaining this map pressure as you move along through the map and then end up winning the round if you can get that bomb uh, exploded now since there is a little bit of a respawn delay i believe it was five or seven seconds back in the day this allows for an easier way for you to actually get up into the opponent's base you know rather than just you know, swarming out of the spawn continuously you know bashing you so you can't get that map pressure there is that respawn delay delay so you can get some type of map pressure similar to CTF. So actually create some clutch situations where you might be, you know, last guy in your base, you have to get a 1v2 and then end up defusing the bomb. You get the defuse and it, the round continues and you're that savior for your team for the moment. So I've seen some people advocate for a neutral flag type game type uh, added into the CDL, but I think this is a little bit better because rather than just, you know, taking that neutral flag from the middle of the, of the map and actually, you know, just capping it to the other side, this requires you to plant the bomb, uh, make sure that it explodes and, you know, continue continuously keep that map pressure rather than just going to the base and capping then backing off now again this is all hypothetical i actually don't think they'll be adding this back in but this is just you know a pipe dream for us uh, as competitive viewers to have something like this i think it was a really nice game mode the only real big downside was the overtime problem now the overtime problem was that when the time would run out in the round if no one had planted the bomb and exploded it it would actually just go in an instant sudden death where everyone would just have one life and the team that would eliminate the other team uh, would win the round so it would recreate this really weird camping scenario where time was starting to run out and everyone had just that one life so teams would just start camping uh, in their base waiting for the time to run out so that the whole entire round or game was completely tied and they have to reset now there's a lot of different things that you can try as solutions to this I'm not sure if any are actually really better but you know maybe eliminating that sudden death maybe having just the round end in a tie and you just replay that round once again hoping that a team would end up winning one of the rounds so that it, it actually ends the game because what this was was a best of three usually in a competitive setting so if one team won one round if one team won another round and then it tied rather than going to the sun death in that third round it just ends in a tie and the replay in that fourth round and in that fourth round whoever wins the round completely wins the game uh, the only thing is you know it could technically go on forever and that was kind of a cool thing with this game mode where it, a round could literally take 30 seconds or it could take you know a full let's say five minutes whatever the the timer was for that round but if we're going to over time you know we don't want to end it in a tie so it could technically go on forever or we just end the map and replay it like we would do in ctf so honestly that overtime problem was the only problem i think with the game mode i think it breeds a lot of competitiveness a lot of importance on map control and then what you could do is even maybe for the overtime round have the team that had the most plants get the good side for that round so it just rewards that aggression so there's a lot of different things you could talk about with overtime but in general i think it's a really good idea for a possible third game type i think it really balances out you know both respawn and search and destroy with both of those dynamics of respawning and having that plant and defuse dynamic so it's a cool idea you know again hypothetical scenario probably not going to happen but you know they did bring that cyber attack game mode back in i think it was mw19 and they may have brought it back in mw2 as well which was like a 
a cross between Surge and Sabo, where it was, you know, neutral bomb game type, but it was six lives for each team uh, in 6v6, so everyone had that one life. And if your lives were eliminated, you would lose the round similar to a Surge round, uh, or if you planted the bomb in the other team's base, uh, you'd win that round. So it's kind of a mixture between F's and D and Sabo. That was brought in, so there, I guess there is a possibility. So I figure I'd draw what it would kind of look like. So let's say we have Invasion here. This is a map that we'll probably be playing in the MW3 season. Uh, so we would have one bomb site, you know, over here. It would usually be where the CTF flags were. So I believe it was like right here and right here. Those would be the two bomb sites. And then you would have the neutral bomb in the middle of the map, let's say right over here. And what teams are trying to do is go make their way to get map control towards the bomb, pick it up, and then eventually end up going towards planting it. Let's say the team that was defending over here, they would probably spawn or back over here and have to fight their way out of a spawn trap to make sure that they could try and defuse the bomb in time. And you know what would happen is if people picked up that objective, they would have a, you know, a glowing nameplate over them, similar to what you would see in CTF. Uh, so teams would know where that person was while they were trying to get towards that bomb site and try and plant the bomb. So again, you fight for that initial map control you continuously try and push towards your way to the enemy base make sure you plant the bomb and then end up winning the round by exploding the bomb site so thank you guys for making the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this one let me know your thoughts on what you would possibly want as a third game mode i kind of talked about it previously in another video but would you want ctf back would you want demo would you want to just keep control or have something new something like sabotage where we haven't seen it all the way since back to cod 4 you know there is that little overtime problem where you know there are probably a lot of solutions that you can come up with with sudden death situations or one life situations uh, where you can actually finish around on time so you know let me know your thoughts thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one.